We're back with L.A. Noir. Let's go talk to Leland Monroe and see if we can get some answers for what's going on here. Ruin your career. Ruin your career. Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell Ooh. him what it's See, about? when it's big strong arms people, he doesn't have to be hateful or anything about it. Here to see Mr. Monroe. He's just like, hey, I'm more important than you. Let me in. It's like, it's like we're the police. I think we have jurisdiction over here. Thanks, ma'am. Compared to like, you know, why don't you just you know, learn your place as a woman and let the man walk through, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. The best type of people. Anyway. Still having Roy flashbacks? Yeah, it's... Can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, no, you may not. We're just gonna go I in through. How many more layers we gotta go through to get Kick open oh, the door, guns blazing. Oh, like wait. You got over here. LAPD. Oh, look at all this. I'd like to ask you some questions. Just Condito. Uh huh. So, uh, $9,000 for a house? I'll take it. A series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. Oh, wait, these are the shoddily made houses. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so, I, no wonder they're so cheap. All right, let's ask him some questions. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. The flyers in the fires. <laughs> town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Well, yes. What's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Liar. It's kind of hard to, you know, watch his eyes for lying because he's kind of pulling a Brock from Pokemon. Yeah, he's supposed to be really hard to read, I guess, because he's in advertisement and a businessman. He's a really good liar. But I got nothing. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Well, your face is all over the flyers Every and the billboards. Every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? Man, I love Biggs. What do you know about a competition for families to win free Yeah, he actually to contributed to that conversation. He, he, he is helping! He is actually, actively... Helping! Uh, I'm not familiar with that one. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Let me tell you about the vital ingredient called proof. I got it right here. F flyers with your name all over it. Believe it or not, we actually you know have it. And you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face yeah, yeah, he uh, gives them the now vacation I flyers to sort of smoke them out of their house. Did you know You're fired. The ah. the police, part of the suburban redevelopment fund. I thought we went through all the you fire puns, but we well. we've been finding a lot of them lately. Hey, we got a trophy for it, too, because we happened to link him to that. Made offers to buy houses An achievement. Thank you very much. <laughs> did I say trophy? I'm suggesting that yes, I'm you did. Well, I'm a Sony fucker, homes. whatever. So I'm just thinking, you don't want to kindle an argument, do you? <sighs> <laughs> Woo! Business finds a way. That's the American way. I think you're being less than candid. <laughs> I love how you're, like, mashing the lie <laughs> button. <laughs> because he's a liar! Look at him! <laughs> you're under pressure to get rid of the holdouts. With a face like that, you're exactly saying he's dishonest? I think you can prove that in a court of law. Well, it's a voice, too. It's, uh, I get to do that in the court of law. I mean, come on. You understand that? Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack I actually remember seeing a uh, behind-the-scenes where they were doing, like, the mocap and everything. Mm -hmm. And the actor who plays Monroe, I, I know this is for every character where they look exactly like him, but it's just so cool to see him from... You know, regular guy to digitized Monroe. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. Like I said, this still holds up today, I think. 
What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? It's, it's the way the lips well, move, like I said, you know, the, the puffing of the cheeks, the creasing of the forehead and the eyes. It's very realistic. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Yes, my houses are made with the best stuff, except for the, you know, terrible fucking bricks that aren't constructed right with shitty fucking mortar to be used as cement. You know, maybe I should take that statement back and, uh... You know, actually do something about my housing developments. Are you telling me paper mache isn't the same as cement? But I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized. We constructed your housing with this new innovative technology called Nintendo Labo. Every building I gotta tell you, these products are hot, hot, hot. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. California Fire and Life. Well, right now we're in arson, which is, uh, California Fire and Death. The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. Sorry, I got a weird lip. Do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list hmm. of their names. So even though he's dirty and a liar and a freak and a bastard and a piece of shit, he probably didn't do it. We can't really pin it to him. Because he's just the guy at the top. So we'll check one of his contractors for the way bills. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Ah, man, they're gonna take Biggs' pension. So anyway, uh, let's go check his contract and see if any one of them did it. However, I want to talk... Excuse me. That's my friend Biggs. Are you threatening him? Are you fucking threatening my man Biggs? Huh? Yeah, a lot of great work you're doing here, just sitting at your desk, probably jacking off. Please don't smack him in the back of the head. Fuck you. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Let's see. These are all the contractors that. Oh, go for Ashworth. With, huh? Fire Ash. It all makes sense. Yeah. Well, that's. Oh, Charman too. <laughs> Take the Chard Man. That's actually Chapman. Oh, is. Oh yeah, it is. Herbert Oops. Chapman. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The Chapman's actually the right guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is? Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. I'll play with the finger. It's so far. Right with Chapman. Finger, 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 finger. I, I love using my index finger to go through index cards. Your boss is a fine man. He Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> you lying son of a bitch! Oh wow, a seminar for burn victims. Oh wait, no, that's not it. That's just the rest of his. Hey, can I use your phone? Thanks. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Putting you through now. Oh my God, you've played this for too long. How can I help, scumbag? How can I help, detective? Can you check whether we? I really want them to just add one of those, just randomly. It never has to happen again. It just needs to happen once. He was released this morning, detective. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB? So Chapman address? just got released from prison for something I'll earlier. Okay, detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks. So we can't really do much. Need to get a known location and figure out where he is. So I guess we just go home for the day. Oh, really? Yeah. Of course, what is home to Cole Phelps? I was about to say, probably sleeps in his office. No, he's still sleeping with the German lady. Oh. So here he is back in the lounge again. He's learned nothing. Well, I mean, wife and kids are gone. Don't have to worry about them. And while we're here, we get a special, special fucking guest. It's Roy! Oh, you stay! Fucking prick. What's no. up, douche? Not even for old time's sake. Not even for that. Fuck you. Yeah, how about if I stomp your dick for old time's sake? I got some spiky golf we'll cleats I can use. We'll get around hey, hey, I'm an arson now, which means I know how to burn your house down and uh, burn you alive and nobody will ever know it was me. I wonder how the commander would feel <laughs> about threats for someone who cares about them. Oh! You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Uh, nothing but, you know, detestment? Disgust? 
Come on. Stay away from Elysian fields. Stay away from non-white people. You can't handle yourself around them. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. Ooh. How neutral, how cold. Stay oh. away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. Yeah, homicide will be I've taking over, as in I'm going to find you in an alley and shoot you, and, and then it'll be their problem. Handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. Ooh, scumbag cops taking away your ability to investigate more. Ooh, he went he went an entire conversation without saying a slur. Yeah. Good job. Earl delivered it. You? So this is why I like Big so much. He started making noises about my pension. So sorry about that. Her, so Biggs is getting his pension probably taken away because the commander is threatening him with that. So was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. But who cares? They're ass wipes. I'm gonna do what I want. So Biggs is on board with our investigation. My dude. My dude. Cool. What's up, Biggs? Let's go. Let's go arrest some dudes. At least we got a halfway decent partner this time around. As opposed to literally a pile of shit. Yeah, compared to a misogynist, a drunkard, and an absolute pile of garbage. So, trying something, trying something new here. I'm I'm holding in the right stick, which gives you a uh, rear view. So I'm gonna try driving like that. Oh Jesus, man! Uh, you got uh, you got your your view on the mini map. Yeah, it's it, it's helping. You need to go the right way. All right, here we go. Investigator over California. Oh Lord! Nope. Sorry. Don't. I'd rather get there with one piece. I'm surprised Biggs is still on board, even after this. Well, that's why he doesn't, uh, he doesn't have a partner. He doesn't use partners. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has, uh, Jack spoken to you? So, we're talking about Jack Kelso again. Oh, shit. Jack Kelso is that guy who was helping Courtney Sheldon, because he has his own guys. He's pretty much the, uh, Nega Cole Phelps. Mm-hmm. Rest of the campaign and your car is just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. So there's a possibility Jack Kelso could probably help us in this case. Hmm. Doesn't say anything, just shows him the bads and gets out. Where'd you learn to drive? He's like, this is my third car this week, thanks to you. But the thing is, Biggs is a little bit picky on cars. Biggs. 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 Hey, that's touching my old car. Hey. I don't want to get in there. Hey. Hey. Get in. Come on. Get in the car. Get, you, you're honking at him just get, so you can pick him up like a just, like a creature of the night, right? Just get, just get in the... Fine, whatever. Hey, hooker, get in. We're going to the crime scene. How much to get you in my fucking car? <laughs> in my... In my fucking car or in my fucking car? Both. My... 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 My, my uh... My fucking fucking car. You <laughs> idiot. Get in my double fuck car. Let's go. Who called you an idiot? It was Colts. Who dares? That was, Cole, that was uh, Cole Phelps. He was yelling at the person who we hit. Oh, I thought he just had a lot of self-loathing, which he should, but... See that? I made a legal left turn onto a sidewalk. <laughs> that doesn't make it legal anymore! I'm a, I'm a cop, what's it matter? Besides, they're gonna get this guy's license plate, and he's the one who's gonna get in trouble for all these traffic violations, not me! I guess this is before, you know, citizens arrest. Oh! That was cool! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was worth it. That doesn't sound good. I think your car's about to bite I'm it. I'm hearing some clicking, Ooh. but there are a lot of really fun ramps around here, though. Not good. Like this child. <laughs> ah! It is a lot easier to drive in the suburbs of LA, I'll tell you what. So you don't have these gigantic buildings that block your view and block your path. Oh, look! It's a Roy ramp! 
It's a Roy ramp. Drive off of it, and it says a slur every single time. Uh, let's, uh, let's not do an imitation of that. Thing. You drive off, and it goes, oh! <laughs> Okay, that was about the most, I don't want to say sensitive, but the that, that, least that was, hurtful yeah, that you're going to get away with. That was with. the least hurtful slur I could say. Me being Italian myself, you know, I think I could say that. <laughs> and besides, the Jersey Shore people say that all the time. So that makes it okay? Uh, no, 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 it doesn't! Nothing they do is okay. <laughs> well, in fact, just existing is a little bit bad. My car just died again. It's a good thing we're so close. Ooh, can I climb up here? Ooh, I can. Collectibles? No, just a place I can climb up. No, oh, okay. Let's see if I can maybe jump off this building, though. Oh my god, they made roofs of the cave. They didn't make them idiot proof. Oh wow, I landed right next to the Roy Earl. That was a that sick again. burn right there, man. How the hell did you catch up? That guy copter drove him over here. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again and I'll bust your chops. Well, get in the car next time! Why do I look like some hooker? Yes, but anyway. So, Matt Chapman's apartment, or whatever his name was. Harvey Chapman? So, uh, I'm just gonna call him Chappie. Yeah, just call him Chapman. There we go. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. Chapman. I'm looking for him oh, too. yeah, that one. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Mm. Is there some mm. kind of problem? Let's take a look at the car. Well, this is his car. Let's see if there's any sort of proof that he... Oh, my God! Let's see what he's hauling around. We found our arsonist. Gives him opportunity. He's got all these flyers. He's got these, uh, the mosquito wires that were used to set the fires. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. And the other one's another big problem. He. What was the motive again? I guess I missed that. Just cause? I don't know. Okay. He's armed! Shit. He's clearly armed. I wonder if I can, like, go ahead and knock these out of the box. They look like a matte painting. Ah, oh, they're in there good. Oh, well. Hold it, Cole. There he is. It's Chap. Biggs again with the help. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so, he goes into a cable car. Ah, oh, fuck. Son of a bitch, you must have caught the trolley. So we need to... We gotta move need to fast, keep up with him. Oh my god. This is the first... Have we had... I know we've had somebody back. shooting at a... At a trolley. But never hold it up and take it for ransom. Nope. I tell you... How do we stop this thing? We, we, we need to keep up with him. In pursuit of suspect uh, we, we need to keep Street up with him. Heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is He's getting away! And driving dangerously. <laughs> if your car breaks in the middle of this, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. I'm on his tail! I'm not letting him get away! Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. <laughs> no problem there! Gotcha! Are you supposed to drive in front of him, or...? Nah, there's like a point where he's gonna turn and then we're gonna try and take out his wheel or something. There we go. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. It looks like he's already getting some damage there. That looks kinda not good, so let's just... Get me just a little closer! He's already a better shot than our three partners. I like you, Biggs. You almost killed him, though. That's all right, because he can handle it. And whoa, my! Whoa! End of the line, you little prick! Come on, Cole. All right, Biggs, you've been doing so good. I'm gonna have you take him down. This this is your time to shine, man. Or you can just take six uh, slugs in the yeah, chest. That's fine you, too. Can, 
Yeah, help him out, please. Don't let your partner die. Like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Book him. Oh, Captain wait. Seem to have his own agenda. Mm. Seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. He's still a bad guy! But I think this is part of something bigger. There's still more to the story. Because, because it always is. Put considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. Shut up your ass, Commander. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. No, nope. it does not. Phelps, it it does not, Nixon sir. In crook fact, neck. it makes us. We'll be calling Richard Nixon a <laughs> crook neck, sir. <laughs> Trump a racist. Like, come on. I mean, neither of them are true, right? So, uh, I guess Cole is now living with the German lady, Elsa. Okay. What is it? And check it out. She's receiving a settlement. Through. For Lou, who was her old flame. <laughs> uh, you got one last one in. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. No, not tonight. I'm tired. Well, uh, no, I changed the subject. I want what? You to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso. And ask him to make some so because Phelps' name case. is Dirt, we're going to ask Jack Kelso to look into Lou's case, Lou. who also worked for California well, Fire and Life, who approved those shit buildings, and yeah. Elysian Fields, who built Won't those shit buildings, and maybe Jack back. Kelso he can be able to use back. his uh, connections to figure out it's things that we could not with our disgraced also, reputation. We could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help mm. and do something about it. There is still one more big case to solve in this arson. We're gonna fucking get to the bottom of it. He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Wait, you're saying there's only one more case in arson? No, there's still a few more cases, but I mean, like, there's, like, oh, okay, one more okay. big overarching thing. There's, we still got, like, what, four cases left or whatever? Wow, okay. Holy crap, is this series gonna end on episode 50? I don't know. Depends on how long these cases are, I guess. Hey! Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe and Legion Fields to the grave. We'll see you next time in Alien War, and I got one more fire pun for you. What's that? <laughs> God damn, that was good. I hate you, but that was really good. <laughs>